Lesson 12.6, Draw Quadrilaterals. All quadrilaterals have four sides and four angles. We learned that in our last lesson, 12.5, which is linked in the description. We have a square, a rectangle, a rhombus, and trapezoids, and there are some quadrilaterals that don't fit the description of these four. In video 12.5, we learned to classify quadrilaterals by the number of pairs of opposite sides that are parallel, by the number of pairs of sides of equal length, and by the number of right angles. We can use grid paper and a ruler to draw quadrilaterals. So we have four line segments here with endpoints. We have endpoints A, B, C, and D, and the line segments connect at the endpoints. And we can label each endpoint with a capital letter going around our shape, A, B, C, D. We've made a trapezoid. Our letters A, B, C, and D can go around clockwise, the same direction as the hour and minute hands of a clock, or counterclockwise, the opposite direction of the hour and minute hands on a clock. Look at this square. We have it labeled A, B, C, D going clockwise on its endpoints. See that? And this rectangle is going around clockwise with the labels A, B, C, D. And so is this rhombus. So is this trapezoid. And look at this trapezoid. It's starting here and going A, B, C, D around in order counterclockwise. We just want to make sure we don't crisscross and say A, B, C, D. We want it to all go in order, either clockwise or counterclockwise. To draw a square, it must have two pairs of opposite parallel sides. So here's a pair, and here's a pair. It needs four sides of equal length. Each side is three squares, and it needs four right angles. One, two, three, four. To draw a rectangle, it must have two pairs of opposite parallel sides, just like the square, two pairs of sides of equal length. Here's one pair of equal length. That's two pairs of equal length, one and two. And it's got four right angles. To draw a rhombus, it must have two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel. So here's one pair that's parallel, here's another pair, that's two pairs, and four equal side lengths. Each side needs to be the same length. That's why a square is considered a rhombus. It has two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel and four equal side lengths. To draw a trapezoid, it must have at least one pair of opposite parallel sides. So here we have one pair, and in this one we have one pair that are parallel and opposite of each other. A square is a rectangle, but a rectangle is not a square. We learned that in 12.5 also. A rectangle has opposite sides that are equal length. So these are the same length and these two are the same length, but a square has four sides of equal length. But a square is a rectangle. It's just a rectangle is not a square. And a square is a rhombus, but some rhombuses are not squares. A rhombus has four sides of equal length and two pairs of opposite parallel sides. And a square has these also, but it has four right angles. Here we have a grid paper with some endpoints scattered on it. We need to choose four of these endpoints, connect them to form a rectangle. So remember, a rectangle needs two pairs of opposite parallel sides, two pairs of sides of equal length, and four right angles. Do you see four endpoints that we can use to make a rectangle? We can't use these four because they wouldn't be the same length and they wouldn't be parallel. We can't use these four for the same reason. Do you see four good endpoints that we could use to make a rectangle? 
I see this one, this one, this one, and this one. And we can get our ruler and connect the endpoints. Let's make that darker. We can connect these two. We can connect these two. And we can connect these two. We've made a rectangle. And it has two pairs of opposite parallel sides, two pairs of sides of equal length, and four right angles. I made a chart of quadrilaterals for square, rectangle, rhombus, and trapezoid, and the information about them that makes them that type of quadrilateral. And you can look for a copy of this chart on Joanne's School Facebook page, and you'll be able to take a screenshot or copy, paste, and print it for your use. We need to draw a quadrilateral that is described. Write the name. It says it needs two pairs of sides of equal length. So it's one of these that has two pairs of sides of equal length. When we look at our chart, we see a square has two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel and four sides that are equal length. We need two pairs of sides of equal length. That has four. Look, a rectangle has two pairs of sides of equal length. And a square can be a rectangle. So we can draw either a rectangle or a square and it'll fit the description. We can draw two pairs of sides of equal length. So these have the same length, and these have the same length. That's one pair, two pairs. And what's the name of our shape that we drew? We drew a rectangle. We also could have drawn a square, couldn't we? Because that has two pairs of sides of equal length. Now we need to draw a quadrilateral that does not belong in this group. That means we need to compare them to find what they have in common first. What do you notice they have in common? They all have sides that are slanting, don't they? That means they don't have any right angles. So what they have in common, the three shapes have no right angles. So if we need to draw a shape that is different than them, we could draw a shape that will have right angles. We can draw a square. That has right angles, doesn't it? That's different and doesn't belong in this group. These don't have right angles, and our shape will have right angles. We drew a quadrilateral that does not belong in the group. Here we have four lines of equal length. We need to name all the quadrilaterals that can be made using these four lines. Well, if they're all the same length, we could make a square, couldn't we? A square has four lines of equal length, right? So we know we can make a square. What else could we make? Isn't a square a rectangle? It's got two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel and it's got four perpendicular angles. So yes, we can say that's a rectangle. What other shape can we make? A square can be considered a rhombus. A rhombus has two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel and four equal side lengths. So we could even say that's a rhombus. What else could we make? What if we moved these on an angle like this? I 
and we did this. See? That's a rhombus, isn't it? But isn't a square also a trapezoid? A trapezoid has at least one pair of opposite sides that are parallel, and if I can straighten this out, we can say that it has at least one. It actually has two, but it has at least one, so it is considered a trapezoid. A square is considered all of these. It's considered a square, a rectangle, a rhombus, and a trapezoid. Now take a look at this drawing. A student drew this shape at the right, and they said it was a rectangle because it has two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel. Let's look. This line is parallel to that one, so that's one pair. And this line is parallel to this one, so that's another pair. So it does have two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel, but is it a rectangle? Did the student make a mistake? If you said yes, they made a mistake, you're right. A rectangle has four sides, and this has one, two, three, four, five, six sides. That's not a rectangle. That's a hexagon. So you can use grid paper and a ruler to draw quadrilaterals. And remember, if you label the endpoints, make sure the letters are going in order, in alphabetical order. We're going to talk about triangles next, and I hope I'll see you there, and have a wonderful day. Bye.